Do you have any other advice for CPA candidates out there who might be struggling to pass or, or the, the super motivated people who are, are looking to get those high scores? <laughs> um, I would say definitely make sure you review Brian's atomic effect that has been like, it's really, if you haven't been in school for a while, or even if you're coming off school and you're people like Brian and I are, who would cram last minute, pass the test. And then that information is instantly gone from your brain. Because <laughs> yep. we hold short-term information very well. Um, use those study loops and those study funnels and make sure that you are constantly, and it'll feel like you're taking time to go over stuff that you already know, but it is so worth it because that repetition is what really gets things into your brain. Yep. I, in a prior life, I can say, because I'm old enough now, uh, I was a therapist and I worked with kids with behavioral disorders and it's part of forming a routine and habits and breaking bad habits that that this program is so good at helping you to do because it makes sure you stay on top of all of that information and and continually bring it back to your memory and that's what really makes it permanent that's that's awesome i love it it's i'm i'm honored that that somebody <laughs> like you who's so so organized <laughs> find value in it and uh because I, ultimately i i created this business because i failed the cpa exam so i love seeing people taking what I learned and then going on and way surpassing what I was look how <laughs> So this is, this has just been a treat. So, so I, I mean, now, now that you're a CPA and you, you've just got, are you still working on the ethics stuff? Is that? I finished the AICPA ethics course that okay. I got a 95 on that. That was that, fine. That, that, that was... test, <laughs> it's open book. You would think uh, it was actually really challenging. I, box, I yeah. had snips and stuff of stuff that I wasn't fully getting. And some of them, like it was down to the nitty gritty verbiage oh, yeah. used in their, in their materials, but it it was good. And yeah, now I found out Utah state board of accountancy has their own test. I have to buy materials for and take, but that's okay. Just one more, yeah, one, one more, one more yeah. thing. And then I can apply for licensure because I have the experience already. So we're good. That's great. <laughs> yeah. Well, Hey, you're wearing an awesome shirt there. So thank you. Yeah. yeah APA exam survivor. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so that's, uh, for the listeners, I, we send uh, CPA exam survivor shirts to anyone who has used our program and passed the CPA exam. So um, if you'd like to work with me, I'd love to to be one day able to send you a CPA exam survivor shirt and get on a call with you uh, to share your story as well. So cool. Well, Janine, what other than, other than gaming, what, what else do you have <laughs> planned now, now that you're a CPA? What's next? Um, well, I, I work for a really wonderful business owner. He owns eight different companies. I work oh, wow. full-time for one of them and part-time for the other two, one of which is his CPA firm. Um, he's very excited that uh, I will be able to be licensed so quickly because I'll be able to be the signing TRP on our um, tax returns, which is a surprise to me because that's yeah. usually much later, but because we're small um, and he's been grooming me to do these for the last several years. So that's exciting to be able to start um, moving in that direction and he's looking to acquire another company that um, will allow me to use my managerial accounting. I, I love managerial. That was my favorite. It's accounting math. <laughs> so being able to use that and, and get to work some more will be great. But I'm, I'm looking to hopefully get back to roughly 55 hours per week as opposed to closer to 70 or 80 hours per week so that I can spend more time with my family. Yeah. I have uh, other hobbies. My son and I um, not only do we, like you said, we game on the computer, but we also play magic and we do the tournaments every Saturday and we just have a good time together, you know, hanging out with people, good friends. My son's 18, so the kids are over here all the time, um, hanging out and, and gaming and playing, you know, whatever. So it's, I'm excited to spend some more time with my family. That's good. my son has commented a lot. He's like, it's so nice to wake up in the morning and hear my mom laughing. <laughs> He's like, cause I'm not super stressed anymore. Yep. So. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, and, and anyone listening who's in in the mix of it, just remember it's all temporary. Like you just have if you if you are struggling, just remember that failure is part of the process, and the the AICPA is testing your reaction to it. So, um, so yeah, just keep plugging away, and and you'll you'll be in Janine's shoes. <laughs> so, all right. Well, we'll be on the lookout. It sounds like you're on your way to taking over the world as it is. Oh. <laughs> Thanks so, so much. Thank you for sharing your story, Janine. It's, it's been a pleasure. And uh, yeah, I hope to stay in contact with you and see see where you're at down the line. Absolutely. Thank you so much for your program and all that you do for people. Hey, future CPA. Thanks so much for checking out this clip of the CPA Exam Guide podcast. You can find the full episode linked below in the video description. But while you're down there, please also check out Kessler's 
CPA review. So this is my study supplement that it combines confidence building mentorship, score boosting study supplements, and time saving tutoring and fun to ensure that you succeed. So all you have to do is use the links down in the video description or in the comments section to find out more. And so ultimate CPA exam guide, this is gonna be uh, Kessler CPA mentorship. So we're gonna teach you step by step how to pass a CPA exam, how to use your CPA review course, and then integrate it with our Kessler CPA study supplements. And so here's a little preview of the study supplements that we have. So we've got some Kessler cues for you. We've got some Kessler cards. You can even create your own flashcards. So here's the front and the back. We've got full mock exams. Uh, full practice uh, questions with um, detailed analytics. Um, everything is mapped to the AICPA blueprints and updated for the most recent exam um, uh, that you'll actually see. Lots of reporting and uh, basically it's the perfect study supplement to teach you from questions you've never seen before. So these are professor made questions that no one else in the industry is using and they're gonna teach you the blueprints from the ground up. And again, we also have video tutoring. So all you have to do is submit your questions here and within 72 hours or less, a tutor will create a unique video lecture teaching you the particular concept that you have a question on. And again, this is one-on-one. -on -one. You're gonna receive an email with a link to a video from a tutor, and they're going to give you that aha moment and allow you to outsource your research to my team so that you can do more important things like studying or even having fun and hanging out with your family while studying for the CPA exam. So I hope you can check it out. Everything is in the video description and I'll catch up with you in the next video.